Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 14, food, and today I will deliver its fifth lecture, which is about balanced diet. So, my dear students, as you know, that previous lectures mein food groups ke baare mein padhe the. Five primary food groups थे, food groups थे जिनके बारे में हमने पढ़ा। अब इनको कैसे हम balanced तरीके से consume करेंगे ताकि हम healthy रहें? So this will be discussed today. So my dear students, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. So these are fruits and vegetables and grains. Quickly tell me what does fruits and vegetables provide us? Vitamins and minerals. Very good. Which uh, food is rich in? Um, which food is rich in energy? Rich in energy. So it is, these are grains which have carbohydrates in them and they are rich source of energy. Okay, my dear students, now it's time for an activity. Okay, quickly look at this boy. He is eating chocolate because he loves chocolate. Now quickly tell me you like chocolates. Will it be okay if you consume chocolates all the time? If you like chocolates, do you think it's healthy that you eat chocolates all the time and do you eat anything Of course not, because they, this will be not healthy. Similarly, if you like fruits, you like watermelon for example, will it be healthy if you will consume watermelon all the time? You eat watermelon and you don't eat any other food group. Ko of course not, because in this way, your body ki jo different needs hai, uh, related to energy will not be full. Because your body needs minerals, bhi chahiye, nutrients, bhi chahiye, calcium, bhi chahiye, protein, bhi chahiye, um, carbohydrates. Bhi chahiye. So everything you must consume so that your body is healthy. And what do you want to consume in which portion? We will discuss this. So my dear students, in today's lecture, students will be able to define a balanced diet. They will be able to recognize that healthy living requires a balanced diet, keeping clean, sleeping well and exercising regularly. So my dear students, today you will define kar balanced diet. Ko. Iske alawa, kaise aap balanced diet ke saath, kaun -kaun si different activities ko apni daily life mein, eh, agar involve karenge, to aap healthy rahenge. We will discuss that also. So my dear students, the Islamic perspective, O oh, believers, eat from the good things we have provided for you. And give thanks to Allah if you truly worship Him alone. So my dear students, Allah Ta'ala ne joh hume bhe shumar nimte di hai khane peene ki. Hume chahiye ke hum unme se healthiest aur halal cheezo ko apne liye select kare. So that we can keep ourselves healthy. And we must thank God also. So my dear students, pre-reading questions. So quickly tell me what is a balanced diet? If you will eat everything. Um, in a balanced portion that is called a balanced diet and do you think fast foods are included in a balanced diet no way fast food is not a part of your balanced diet maybe some of it jo ke thoda sa healthy ho but uh, most of it is not healthy for you so stay away from it okay my dear students now it's time for reading quickly open page number 134 in your gk3 books I hope you have opened the page. So, my dear students, let's quickly look at this balanced diet chart. So, here you have a plate. This is your plate. Now, what portion of your plate should be in your plate? How many things should be in your plate? So, let's have a look. So, fruits and vegetables, 8 portions, 5 to 8 portions. Then, bread, rice, potato and pasta, 7 to 8 portions. So, if you look at your largest portions, वो है कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स के और फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स के देन टू टू थ्री पोर्शन मीट बीन्स एंड नॉन डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स देन वन टू टू पोर्शन शुगरी फूड एंड फैट्स एंड देन कम्स टू टू थ्री पोर्शन मिल्क एंड डेरी सो आपके जो सबसे बड़ा पोर्शन है दैट इज ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स एंड Bread, rice, potato and pasta that provides you with energy. These are carbohydrates. And the rest of the things you have to get in 2 to 3 or 1, to, uh, 1 or 2 portions. The most less you have to take chini and fat. Lena hai. Okay, my dear students. Now quickly open page number 133 for your reading. 
I hope you have opened it. So let's quickly read about balanced diet. A diet that contains proper portion of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals and water necessary to good health as per standard or as per requirement of diet chart is called a balanced diet. A balanced diet supplies required nutrients in the correct amount to our body for its proper functioning. It includes a specific portion from each food group. So my dear students, very important thing to note that in a balanced diet, there are all the food groups items added as per your requirement, your body requirement or diet chart. And they must contain everything from every food group. Dry fruits, bhi, fruits and vegetables, bhi, meat, bhi, uh, dairy bhi, and carbs. Bhi. In sub cheese, if you have a proper portion, mein lenge, then it will be a balanced diet for your good health. So, factors for healthy living eating a balanced diet. So, the first thing you have to do for healthy lifestyle is to eat a balanced diet. Lena. So, the food that we eat in breakfast, lunch, and meal contains all food nutrients in proper portion proportion according to our body requirement such type of diet will provide required energy and keep us healthy so my dear students aapka breakfast lunch and your last meal which is your dinner they must contain a balanced diet yani ki unke andar tamam food groups mein se cheeze jo hai wo added honi chahiye tabhi jo hai agar aap is tarike se apna food consume karenge tabhi aap apne aap ko healthy rakh sakenge um so balanced diet, a balanced diet having all nutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fibers and fats. We cannot miss any nutrient from our diet. It will happen. Um, if will happen, we will become ill. And if you miss anything from this, you will become weak and bimar. Okay, my dear students, grains, bread, rice and pasta. These are, the, you must consume them in 7 to 8 portions. Fruits and vegetables, you must contain them in 5 to 8 portions. Then sugary food and fat, you must contain it in one to two portion only. And then comes your dairy products you and eggs, you must contain in meat. Everything you will, uh, 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 you will take its portion in two to three, okay? So my dear students, uh, now is time for an independent activity given on page number 133. From which food group you ate yesterday? ठीक है आपने कल कौन से food group में से खाया था? आपको हर चीज़ को add करना है पहले breakfast में, then lunch and dinner. Okay. आप अपनी इस काम के लिए notebook को भी use कर सकते हैं. Okay. The food item I took for breakfast it was egg and bread. So bread belongs to grains. Then for lunch I took roti. And chicken. And I also took uh, some watermelon. For dinner, I took uh, rice and some dal. And I also took um, some potatoes. So, now you have to tell this food group. Batana hai. Breads belong to carbohydrates. Uh, and then comes roti and chicken. They belong to meat and carbohydrates. Rice, dal and potatoes. They belong to um, grains, um, pulses, legumes and then potatoes belong to vegetables. So, this is how you will complete your uh, food group. Then next come your second activity or I mean activity 1B. So here you may seek help from the tips given below. Here are some tips that you can complete. Was your diet in activity A balanced? Remove or add some food items to make it a balanced diet. Achha, ab aap ne jo chart 1 complete kiya hai from your previous day breakfast, lunch and dinner. Now you have to tell us that what you have की डाइट बैलेंस थी इफ नॉट आप क्या चीज ऐड करेंगे या क्या चीज निकालेंगे सो so, आपके लिए ये है कि ऐड हेल्दी प्रोटीन्स पीनट बटर हमस एग योगर्ट मिल्क टू योर ब्रेकफास्ट सो आपके ब्रेकफास्ट में दही अंडा और प्रोटीन होना चाहिए जैसे कि पीनट बटर सो 
इस तरह की चीजें अब मेरी डाइट में अंडा शामिल था सो माई ब्रेकफास्ट वॉज हेल्थी नेक्स्ट एड फ्रूट्स बीन्स फिश चीज ऑलिव एंड मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रीन एंड ग्रेन टू योर लंच अब मेरे लंच में प्रोटीन भी था दे वॉज चिकन एंड दे वॉज ऑल्सो काब्स विच वॉज रोटी एंड आई ऑल्सो टुक सम फ्रूट्स सो माई लंच वॉज ऑल्सो हेल्थी देन कम्स योर लास्ट लंच लास्ट डिनर लास्ट मील पास्ता सॉटे वेजिटेबल्स अ लिटिल फिश अ फ्यू बीन्स और टू योर डिनर सो मेरा डिनर भी हेल्थी था आई टुक सम राइस देर वॉज ऑल्सो दाल इन इट which which are part of pulses and i also took potatoes which are part of veggies so my lunch was dinner was also healthy so this is how you can take help from this and you can complete this table also so my dear students breakfast mein aapko peanut butter dairy aur uh, ya aapko eggs lene chahiye ya yogurt leni chahiye iske alawa lunch mein aapko vegetables um proteins fruits मीट या कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स में से कुछ लेना चाहिए देन कम्स योर डिनर फॉर डिनर यू मस्ट टेक सम वेजिटेबल्स क्योंकि डिनर आपका लाइट होना चाहिए तो सॉटेड वेजिटेबल्स विथ सम पास्ता बीन्स एंड सम फिश टू कीप योर सेल्फ लाइट इनमें से कुछ भी आप सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर अवेल्यूएशन फॉर एवेल्यूएशन आई विल आस्क सम क्वेश्चन आंसर दैम ओरली ओके वट इज अ बैलेंस डाइट which contains carbohydrates which contains everything from the food groups carbohydrates proteins uh, vitamins minerals and dairy products to keep our cells healthy next why is it important to have a balanced diet we must have a balanced diet to keep our cells healthy and fit then what will happen if we miss specific food group for a longer time so this is how we can keep ourselves weak and ill agar aap ek food group ko zyada der tak ke liye skip kar denge to aapki body mein koi bhi deficiency ho sakti hai it could be mineral deficiency it could be a nutrient deficiency protein deficiency so jab aap har cheez ko proper portion mein leke khayenge so that is how you can keep yourself healthy otherwise you will be deficient and you can get get, get sick So now is the time for practice. For practice, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video, or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So write balanced or un unbalanced below each meal. So my dear students, here some meals are given. So underneath each picture, you have to write that what is balanced or not. So in the first picture, there are vegetables, and uh, there is some rice, spinach. So is it balanced or unbalanced? I think this is a balanced diet. so next is junk food with chocolates and pizza so is it balanced or unbalanced of course this is unbalanced then next is sorted vegetables these are balanced last one is pasta and bread and this is also balanced so what is balanced diet define balanced diet you can also take help from your book so pause the video and complete this worksheet I hope everybody has finished it. Now we will move forward towards your homework. For homework, you will do question number three and four, given on page number one hundred and thirty-nine. Define the balanced diet. What are the harms of taking a poor diet? So, if you consume a poor diet, then what will happen to you? And for a balanced diet, what you must consume? What is the balanced diet? Use your notebook for this purpose. So, my dear students, now is the time for wrap up. For wrap up today, we have learned about balanced diet. 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 We have learned about diet having all nutrients and balance is a balanced diet we should take all nutrients in our meal if we not take any nutrients for a long time we will become ill so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture keep everybody around you safe take a balanced diet stay healthy thank you so much and allah hafiz